Hi, not all burger joints were created equal. With 20 mouth-watering burgers available, all cooked to order using fresh, premium quality ingredients, we're pretty sure you love every last bite. We're located at 320 Packington Street in Newtown, 51 Moorabool Street in Geelong, and for information on the menu, check out burgerinc.com. So come on in, we'd love to feed you. Stand side of the ground. They're ahead by uh, 33 points now, St Joseph's. We've travelled 22 minutes of this final quarter, and it's Jackman. Kicks it out in front of his teammate, Sammy Smith. Bouncing ball, Purcell runs onto it. He's under pressure there from Reynolds. It comes out the back to Dunstan. He moved it on quickly, had more time than he thought. But uh, running onto the ball, Corey Bauer on the wing position. He gathers. No, he doesn't. Knocked out of his hands. Back, back there, Lovick, ever reliable, gets it, handballs it in the middle of the ground. So there's a chance now. It's Smith. He gives it over, and uh, the play, player for St. Joseph's kicks it around the corner towards half forward there, Troy. Yep, towards uh, Jackman. Here's Knight. Already got one goal. Kicks from 50. Open goal. Squid. This could bounce through. It does. Another one. And uh, a little bit of shepherding, or was it wrestling there by no, Bolton? It fell over. And uh, at one stage, we forget, Fellas and Marys did lead by 19 in that first quarter. So St. Joseph's after quarter time have been fantastic yet again. I so certainly have, uh, uh, Wilbur. Uh, their first quarter's not too good, St. Joey's, but after yeah. quarter time, they just find a bit more. And, uh, yeah, they've been very good since... Uh, quarter time. That's going to be good because I reckon Bell Park are a side that start really well so if they play so next week I reckon Mick Atkins is going to be uh, enforcing upon his charges to come out of the blocks a little bit quicker than the last fortnight. Well I'll tell you now if they make they make third place they play Bell Park next week which they will. They're a good chance to make it. Uh, they're a good chance to go through for a, a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. A little bit longer. You reckon they'll have a crack at the flag Jack? <laughs> well I can't see anybody beating Lara and that includes North Shore. For all the people say I'm biased. Oh, uh, goal. Greaves has snapped it from 40 metres out. Wait on the umpire. It, it's touched. Oh. It's touched. Sure uh, won't beat Lara, Jack? No, no way. You reckon St Joseph's could beat Lara in a grand final? No yeah. way. <laughs> Lara the Who's going to win the grand final? Lara. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. But what I'm saying is for St Joey's to get in, they've got in on their merits, they could go a long way. They could make the grand final because I think... Next, uh, the way things are going, they, they will defeat uh, Bell Park. Oh. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I just, I just got to go through this. There was a free kick given to St Mary's then against Aaron Greaves for throwing. Then the advantage was paid, right? And Brett Hungerford dived on the guy's boot from a long way off. A fantastic smother, and the umpire said, "No, no, no! Look, come back. We'll take it all the way back and uh, cancel that advantage." And they've given it back to St Mary's. That if Brett Hungerford hadn't have dived, then uh, gee, they wouldn't have had to do that. He's not rewarded for his efforts, but uh, unfortunately, that's just the way it goes, I guess. Now it's with Nick Hosking on the wing. So what can Nick Hosking do? As Jack's mentioned, tired player, but a good player. He's kicked it now to half forward, up in the air. Big contest. White Cross couldn't get it. Knocked over the boundary line. There'll be a throw in grandstand side. Um, they've had injuries. They've had a new breed coming through. But I reckon he gets just about 100% out of all these guys. The you know guys like Jackman and uh, Lovick. Yeah, playing kids, great yeah. But uh, since uh, he's been back from his uh, suspension, he's the general. I uh, call him the general. He's made a big difference to the uh, St Joey side. And uh, yes, he's it's just him being there, just uh, him being in there and giving the orders. And uh, yeah, they're, they're a good side. They're not a bad. They're not a bad side. They're, they are a good side, actually. Yeah, so experienced is Atkins. And uh, the ball's with Hosking. Go on. And, uh, bit of a dirty day for Nick. He's tackled, dispossessed. Um, by, uh, oh. What's he playing here? A little bit. Now, these boys just want us to calm down. They've got finals next week. They just want to uh, finish off the last couple of minutes and make sure they're yeah, there look, next weekend. I don't think St. Joe's players will do anything silly there. And uh, Betts has the ball from a free kick there. I don't know whether he must have got one a little high or something in that, but... Uh, He's certainly going to take the free kick at half back, and they won't. They won't do anything silly now. They realise that they've got a game to play next week. So Betts kicks from half back. It's a lovely looking kick to half forward, and Ooh. it's come over the back. Hungerford finds himself with the ball. He's given it there to Sammy Smith. Runs around his opponent, Halloran has a shot from goal from just inside 50. That's and a goal. That's it. He snuck it in. That's a lovely running goal. Okay. Well, it's very uh, democratic up here in the commentary box, isn't it, Simo? <laughs> just dictator Lord Jack has decided. He's made his pronouncement and. Looks like we've got no say, mate. No, yes, he's look, really uh, shut Fabiani out of the uh, business today and uh, been a very, very good player himself. 
Let's not talk to Jack. Let's not, uh, Jack <laughs> just turn his microphone down and take his bloody headset off. There's a ball now. It's it, uh, in the forward line for St. Joseph's from the boundary throw, and they seem to be doing everything right now. Sammy Smith, he's 10 yards clear. Handball's over the top to Bolton in the goal square. Drop kick goal. Yeah, he's got a lot of the ball. 52 points is now the margin. St. Joseph's running into great form for next week's final series. Not exactly sure who they'll play. Could be Bell Park, but we'll have to wait and see at that other result out at Windsor Park. Can they extend points it? the difference out there, fellas. Still 12 points, yep. so uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Looking forward to hearing all those scores, and you can hear them all in winners and losers coming up after our Crazy John's match of the day. As Knight takes it, gives it off to Sammy Smith. Kicked a great goal only moments ago. Puts the ball to turf. St Mary's, they've run out of energy. And St Joseph's coming home really strongly, setting up some good form for the coming weeks. Ball 30 metres out. Umpire crosses his arms and will throw it up. Yeah, good, uh, good lead there by Hungerford. Presenting himself. Sammy Smith put it out in front of him, but... Uh, on that occasion, wasn't able to mark. So there'll be a ball up. It's probably 40 metres out directly in front. As we see, another St Mary's player there. It's Halloran. He's uh, going to be very sore at the end of the day. He's got some heavy strapping on his left shoulder already. It looks like he might have copped another one in that contest. But anyway, the half we're at half forward for St Joseph's. Atkins has it. Finds his teammate uh, there. That would be a Smith, I think. Gets the ball. Kicks it into the top of the square. Bolton flies. Couldn't mark. On the ground. Leith butters up for St Mary's. Heads towards the boundary. He's under some pressure from Bolton, though, who loves trying to run players down. And he's kicked it out of bounds on the full, Troy. Yeah, right into the uh, St Joseph supporters there, and they loved it. Chip comes back towards uh, Reynolds, and Reynolds will have a shot for goal. And this could take it out to 50. Eight points, and it's like a, almost a ten goal win here, Jack. Yeah, look, the umpire's not, is it? Yeah, he's brought it back. Brought it back. He's but, brought uh, it back. Yep. Leith had no option just to go towards. All right, it's gone out of bounds on the full, but uh, there's no lead. There was nobody running, and no nowhere to go uh, when he got it. So we just had to go for the boundary line. Barry Knight deep in the pocket, as kicked one of the great goals of the year. <laughs> right from the pocket, he's got his fourth for the afternoon. Now the umpire in the middle of the ground. It's wide cross up against Reynolds. And uh, no one really won the tap out there. Comes down, Andy Halloran kicks it forward for St Mary's. Bouncing ball inside 50, but Betts, he runs off half back. Gets a handball there. Another one over across. It's now back to Jackman with a little short kick out to the wing position. He's released Tony Reynolds. He's got 15 yards as Reynolds chips the ball and finds Sammy Smith at half forward. Smith on the left boot, kicks round the body towards Bolton under a fair bit of pressure. Should be 50 rolled, and we'll get 50 surely. surely. Now he's remonstrated. And uh, umpire Nolan's ran in and said, no, 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 you're far too tough to get 50. You'll have to just kick it from there. And um, as Bolton, <laughs> copying a bit from the St Mary supporters, <laughs> pointing to the scoreboard, saying, have a look at that. He's got a touch of breeding in him, I reckon, just conducive to that type of play. Now he's kicked it into the top of the square. Bouncing ball. Pizzano sees it over. An elimination final? That's correct. Yes. Certainly right. You've got it right, Jack Grabs. So you yeah, are the man. Uh, Richard's just kicked a goal to make it get 18 so points. So that is a big result by South <laughs> Bow. And down and out the last couple of weeks. And what a win out there at Windsor Park. They had to do it the hard way. As Atkins comes in for another shot at goal. And offline to make it an even 10 goal break. That's unbelievable. What about that scoreline out at Windsor Park? What was it 8.23 South Bow? So 7-11. 7 7-11. So that's a lot of uh, scoring shots. 30, over. 31 to uh, 18. So uh, clearly um, they could have won that one by more, Craig Simpson. So they're not in too bad a form either going into next week's uh, cutthroat elimination final. Over the top to uh, Hosking. Hosking uh, stumbles, kicks the ball short to Halloran on centre wing. Halloran can uh, take a bounce, take two, and now elect to kick the ball short to a player on his own there in Marino. He's had a pretty quiet day. The forward pocket for the Samiri side. Centres the ball, goes in towards uh, Gilligan over the top, roved by Barton. Barton a handball to no one. Atkins there tries to pick it up. Foppiani went off the ground. Picked up beautifully there by Hood. Best on man. Best on ground according to Jack. Into the middle it goes to Sammy Smith. Umpire signals full time. And St. Joe's have won handsomely by 16 points. 18-18, 126. 60, 60 is it? 60 points to 10-6-66. At Ellsworthy's Retrovision, we're more than just the best price. We'll give you expert advice with a huge range of big brand products. Locally owned and operated in Geelong, Eldsworthy's Retrovision will give you more every time. If it's a big screen TV you're after, or a top brand washer or fridge, we have the best range to choose from. Come into Ellsworthy's today at two big locations, Mirable Street, opposite Skill Stadium in Geelong, or Warren Ponds Homemaker Centre. Eldsworthy's Retrovision. <laughs> 